and welcome to the second episode of Chatterboxes with me, Lucy Clayton. And me, Maddie Bateson. We're down here today on the pier at Media City, but our studio is actually situated right up there. So let's head on up and start the show. Welcome back to Chatterboxes. A show for the chatty, from the chatty. I'm Maddie Bateson and I'm with Lisa Clayton today, coming live from Media City for yet another entertaining show. So, without further ado, let's take a look to see what today's show has on offer. Well, as he dishes the dick, Kim and Aggie style. I meet up with Sophie to learn the basics of student cooking. And we have a look at what sends ourselves crazy this week. But first, it's time to look at possibly one of the dirtiest flats on Peel Park campus. With flat inspections looming, we sent Michael on a mission to see just how disgusting it was. I'm at Peel Park Quarter where I've come across quite possibly the messiest flat in Salford. <laughs> However, I have heard that it's got some rather nice art installations too. Come on, let's have a look. As you can see, the occupants are rather keen collectors, judging by their array of Tesco shopping trolleys. And now let's have a look in the kitchen. Who knows what we'll find? <laughs> judging by the sheer amount of takeaway cartons, I don't think this book has ever been used. Possibly the only clean place in this entire flat. As you can see, they're encouraging bacteria to grow in the communal areas. Here we find our first piece of modern artwork. The occupants here must be very creative. And if you look around the flat, it's not the only piece of artwork. Looks like somebody's had a happy bit day. This could well be the craziest place in Salford I've been this term. But undoubtedly you'll know somewhere just as bad. Can you take on a challenge? Well, that was absolutely <laughs> disgusting. I don't know how anyone could live in an environment like that. And we've brought Michael into the studio today to ask him, was it as bad in real life as it was on camera? It was even worse, Maddie. It was awful. Dear. Oh, disgusting. God. It was so cluttered. <sighs> Actual mess. And was there like a smell when you walked in? Did it hit you? <laughs> it did. As soon as you came in through that front door, there was a bit of a stench. Oh, that's awful. Rotten food. So what would you recommend for people to like combat this? Um, well, I know from my own experience that you've got to work together almost as a team. It's mm -hmm. all about communication. Um, maybe create a rotor of maybe who's going to take the bins out mm -hmm. or who's mm -hmm. going to wash up. Or I think clean up after, your, after yourself, really, yeah, is, the, exactly. is the main And we all have uh, whiteboards, don't we? So that's a good place to start. Yes. Right, write your names down. and Definitely. You may make like a physical yeah. rotor on the whiteboard. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank, thank you, you for having me. Well, anyway, it's nearly lunchtime and my stomach is rumbling. But I'm struggling with student life because I cannot cook. Well, Maddie, you're in luck. I went to see Sophie, an avid student cook, who taught me a quick, easy and delicious meal. Perfect for students on a budget and in a rush. So I came down from Media City to talk to Sophie. Now, Sophie is a student here and she is a pro chef. So, Sophie, what are we cooking today? So, today we're going to be cooking fajitas. So all you need for this quick and easy meal is a fajita kit, chicken, onion, a red pepper, a yellow pepper and a clove of garlic. First of all, cut the chicken, peppers and onions into strips so they fit perfectly in the tortilla wraps. Then heat the pan on a high temperature and add oil so the chicken doesn't stick to the pan. 
Then add the onions, peppers and sprinkle with the seasoning mixture. This is when the flavours really start to congeal and the kitchen smells gorgeous. Allow to sizzle for around 5 minutes until everything is thoroughly cooked. In the meantime, put the tortilla wraps in the microwave for around 2-3 to three minutes. After the wraps are warm, the fajita mixture is ready to be added. And finally, top with your favourite salsa. So after all our hard work, we're going to give it a try. Yes, yes. my favourite part. <laughs> Really quick, easy meal, so thanks for having me, Sophie. You're welcome. I'll definitely be trying this one out. Well, that looked amazing and definitely something I think I could make. Yes, it was honestly one of my favourite meals today and so we have brought Sophie to the studio to give us a few more tips for those students that want to learn how to cook. So Sophie, <coughs> what are your three top meals that you recommend for students on a budget? Oh, well fajitas would be my number one. They're so easy to make, followed by the omelette and spaghetti bolognese. Lovely. Oh, nice. mm. And what sort of ingredients would you recommend every student has in their cupboard? <sighs> Definitely tin tomatoes, baked beans, sweet corn, um, chicken breasts, anything that has a really long lasting date on really. And is there any supermarkets that you recommend for students on a budget? Aldi's my number one go-to place. Yeah. It's got everything in there. Uh, the fruit and veg is so cheap. And also down the centre aisle, there's everything and anything. Really random things like socks. <laughs> <laughs> and to end on quite a controversial one, what do you think of the microwavable ready meal? Oh, that's a tough one. Yes and no. Um, I think... It's really good if you're in a rush, you can just ping ping in the microwave um, and eat it on the go. But then again, it is full of sugar and salt, yeah. so it's not that healthy for you, really. Mm. Yes. Excellent. So, Sophie, you brought in yes. some fajitas for us to try out. And I did have the opportunity to give them a taste when we made them the other day. Mm -hmm. But, Maddie, we feel like you should, you should have a taste because yes. they are amazing. So well, these look so in. Enjoy. Yeah. Have a bite. Freshly made this morning. Ooh, nice mm. and fresh. Those are delicious. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Mm, so, Sophie, good. is there any vegetarian alternatives that you could recommend? Possibly corn or mushrooms, something like that, yeah. just to bulk it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm, they are yeah. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, though, Sophie. We've had a lovely time with you today, and we Thank cannot you. wait for another meal Maybe sometime like. soon. Yeah. Yes, because I have been really obsessed with those. Speaking of being obsessed, I am absolutely obsessed at the moment with Sam Smith and his new album, The Thrill of It All. He's been on a two-year break and I swear his voice just keeps getting better and better. It really, really does. And what about you? Well, I'm still in the Bake Off buzz after Sophie won last week and I can't get enough of it. And I'm so excited for the Cake and Bake Show, which is returning to Salford's Event City this weekend. Oh, wow. So I'm going to try and get myself self down there and see some of the past contestants. And uh, news on last year's winner, Candice Brown is that she's potentially enter entering the jungle this year alongside Katie Hopkins when the show returns later this month, which I cannot wait for. Oh, that will be excellent. So anyway, make sure you follow us on Twitter at UOS Chatterboxes. And if you would like to appear on the show, drop us a tweet or an email to chatterboxesuos at gmail.com. Thank you all so much for watching and we're leaving you for another week. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I want another pair. Give him the truck. Hello, Sophie. Hello. Thank you for watching the show. To see more from Keys TV and Chatterboxes, click here.